well, what's up guys and welcome so this this video is going to be a really really quick mission editor video once again but it's going to be a viewer request which is someone asked me how i can get aircraft spawning at different aircraft at uh, different airfields at different times with different parameters be it triggers or time spawn so i'm going to cover it all right now um so welcome to a very busy looking persian gulf and this will all become apparent very soon so each aircraft on here has a different way it's going to spawn so three of them will spawn at the same time at different places one of them will spawn after two minutes of the mission one of them will start five minutes later um, and another one will spawn when the previous aircraft reaches a trigger zone it's, it's a little bit of everything okay so we'll break it down really really easy so the first aircraft you're going to see activate will be our F-14 Tomcat this F-14 is going to start two minutes into the mission however I've ticked it for the time being as uncontrolled and I've set a triggered action as engine start so I've covered uncontrolled in a previous video I'll link it in the description down the bottom so I'm not going to go over that too much however this will be it will look like a piece of scenery up until the point where it activates via the trigger so if we go into the triggers you'll see F-14 start 120 seconds time more so time more is in relation to the start of the mission so from the second the mission begins time more starts counting away so 120 seconds after mission start the trigger will then start the F-14's engine it will then activate the F-14 as a viable group it will then go off and it will fly its flight plan it will land where it needs to so that will happen two minutes after the mission starts if you set up a trigger like like you see here so a uh, one time trigger condition time is more 120 and AI push because it's an uncontrolled if it wasn't uncontrolled you could just press uh, group activate however you'll see that later on so two minutes into the mission that aircraft will then start and take off okay so the second aircraft we're going to see will be find it where's Minab there he is will be a Harrier jump jet and that will start at 8.05 so five minutes past eight the mission uh, mission start time is eight o'clock so this one isn't uncontrolled so the way this is going to work is at 8.05 this aircraft will then spawn into the mission and it will automatically start its engine and it will get off where it needs to go so I've not ticked this one as uncontrolled because I want this one to pop in because it shows you that you don't have to use uncontrolled I just prefer to use it because it looks pretty um, so really really simple eight five zero zero it needs to look like this for five minutes past eight so if i wanted 855 happy days 855 if i wanted 820 yep 820 happy days however the only thing that won't work or doesn't seem to work for me is 805 in this format so 80500 what it needs to be is just delete the zero 8500 that is how you want your set your time for 805 and it will work for 806 807 so as long as it's eight then the digit you want so 805 so it's just a five zero zero just get rid of make sure it hasn't got any zeros before the digit just have the number you want effectively as your single digit and then that aircraft will pop in at 805 mission time and then it will begin to start up it will taxi it will take off and it will head towards this way uh, this uh, trigger zone and this trigger zone is lovingly titled spawn next which gives you a hint that that's going to spawn the next aircraft so the next aircraft to spawn uh, when i find it okay so the next aircraft that's going to spawn will be the c-17 okay so the c-17 down the bottom is once again it's uncontrolled so we'll be able to see it from the start of the mission but it will be effectively a static piece of scenery so when it when the harrier enters the spawn zone or the trigger zone it will then activate a trigger which will start the c-17 so we'll go into the triggers and we'll show you how that works so harrier at destination that's the trigger i've called so really i should move this down one because it's a second trigger so what i've used is part of group in zone which i've done in a previous video once again so look through the previous videos if you don't know how to use um, trigger zones and i've used group as harrier which is the name of that harrier jump jet and spawn next as the trigger zone i want to activate once it reaches that trigger zone, it'll then activate the C-17's uncontrolled start. So it'll then activate the start parameter on the um, AI push task. So then it's going to tell the C-17, wake up, it's time to play. That's It's basically going to activate the C-17 into the mission. So it goes from a static piece of scenery to an actual AI object. Okay, so, so far we've got 
F14 starting after 120 seconds, a Harrier starting at 8.05 mission time, and we've got a C17 activating once the Harrier reaches its destination. Happy days. So the final three aircraft are going to start at the same time. The way that's going to work is the C-17 has a flight path. So if we go onto the C-17 and we select his flight path, he's going to take off and he's going to land at Dubai International. I've used a trigger zone once again. However, this time what I've done is I've selected the waypoint as landing. And then normally when you select a landing waypoint, it's going to select auto. So that it's going to park in any bay. However, I want it to park in a specific place. So I picked Bay 68. Scroll down to 68 and I want to make sure it parks there every time, which means I select 68 as the place it's going to park. So 68 and then it will taxi and it will park in Bay 68. Once it does that, it enters another trigger zone, which then activates the final three aircraft. One of them being an A-10, one of them being another Harrier and one of them being an F-18. So we'll go into the triggers and we'll have a look at that. So this one's called final. So, once again, it's part of grouping zone, so it's exactly the same as what I've done for the Harrier to start the C-17, so, but this time the group we're going to use is the C-17, and the group zone is the other trigger zone, which is start final. So when the C-17 enters start final trigger zone, so the final trigger zone, it will then activate the final three aircraft by use of group activate. So the thing to note about these three aircraft is every one of them has late activation ticks, which means they will not appear on the map until they are triggered. I could have done uncontrolled, but I wanted to show you. I wanted to show these aircraft pop in. So once again, it, not everything's there from the get-go. Uncontrolled triggers are amazing in the sense of they make the mission look a lot better. You've got the aircraft there all the time. However, they might be out of the depth of some people. Therefore, I'm showing you a, a broader way of doing things. So these guys are ticked as late activation. They won't show up until they're triggered, and then they'll just pop into the mission. They'll come to life straight away. So all three of them, so the A-10, the Harrier and the F-18 which is up there. And all three of those are ticked as late activation like I've said. So the only final thing to do is to watch it play out. So we're going to fly the mission, save it, yep happy days. And all you'll see at the beginning will be two aircraft parked up. One of them will be an F-14 and the other one will be a C-17. Both of them will be static doing nothing for the time being as you can see. Okay, so the first thing you'll see about this uh, F-14 is the loving RAF Air UK skin. Well, it's, a, it's an actual RAF Squadron uh, skin. However, it's created by one of our members. There's two versions. You've got the version with a black nose, like you can see here, and one that's got a grey nose. Absolutely awesome looking skin um, created by one of our members, Father Cool. So hats off to him. Top fucking job. If you're an RAF Air UK member, you can download this off our download section of the website or off the forum. I've placed them on both. And um, yeah, absolutely brilliant skin made by Father Cool, so well done to him. If you're not a member and you fancy joining a uh, multiplayer group, we fly squadron uh, missions all the time. Like twice a week normally we get together and um, have nice intricate detailed missions. Some of them you've seen on YouTube probably before on my, my channel. If you want to join us, obviously feel free. The uh, website's always in the, in the description down the bottom. But... All I wanted to show is the skins that I'm using in this mission are all our RAF Air skins. Awesome stuff. Well done to the guys that make them. Okay, so if I scroll through the F2, you'll see both of these aircraft now have not started up. They're both static, uncontrolled. After two minutes into the mission, which has already been ticking away because I've been chatting utter crap, you'll see the two pilots in this F-14 miraculously appear and they'll begin to start their engines. That's because when there's no pilots in it, it is uncontrolled. It's basically a scenery object. As soon as those pilots pop in, it means that aircraft's been triggered and it's now come to life. So I'm going to, I'm going to speed time up a little bit. And you'll see the pilot's now popped in, which means the aircraft is now starting up. And as you can see, he's taxiing away and he's come to life. So awesome stuff. So at 8.05 in the mission, you'll see the Harrier start up. The pier, even. So at the moment, you'll see it's 8.03. The F-14's doing its thing. So if we just... Zoom in on El, uh, El Minab and we speed the time up a little bit. See, da, 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 any second now. In five, four, three, two, one. Now, one times Harrier has now spawned in another RAF air skin. This is the Harrier Squadron skin. This is one squadron. This is my guys. Once again, amazing looking skin, happy days. 
Um, he's now starting up. He was triggered at 8.05. As you saw, as I counted down, 8.05 on the dot, the aircraft spawned in and starts his engine. Speed time up again, because we don't need to watch everything. So once he gets to his first waypoint, which is um, where we put the trigger zone, the C-17 will then start its engine. So if we scroll through now, C-17 is still sat there doing nothing, hating life, because he's just, you know, a big tub of lard. F-14's taken off, he's flying towards his uh, airfield he's going to land at, which is the island just over there. And the Harrier's tucked near the way, so we'll just speed things up because God knows it'll take all day otherwise. Come on, quicker, quicker, quicker. Yep, let's go full on seizure mode. Okay, so the Harrier will now take off when he closes his canopy. There we go, he's going to take off and he's going to fly towards his waypoint, which if we remember, was about here. So once he reaches his waypoint, the C-17 is going to start up. So now, if we scroll through the F-2, C-17, if we speed time up a little bit, will start his engines. As you saw, obviously it's not the greatest texture model, however, He's now starting up, you can hear his engine started, and he's now going to fly towards Dubai International. At Dubai International, he's going to land and park in 68, or well, park in base 68, and then the final three aircraft will spawn in. So we'll speed time up a little bit. Yeah, let's get it going quicker. While we do that, I'm just going to scroll through the uh, ships. Okay, so what you will see I've thrown into this mission, because I'm just plugging as much stuff as I can in this uh, video because it's a quite simple one is Jerry 45's HMS Hermes mod so I've placed a different version of HMS Hermes in this time so it hasn't got the ski ramp it's just uh, kind of like a landing craft as such or a landing ship a salt ship whatever you want to bloody call it however recent updates to the HMS Hermes mod he's now added more versions of HMS Hermes so obviously I've done a video a long time ago when it before it was even released to the public where it had the ski jump whereas now We've got a second version without a ski jump, and in the future there's actually going to be a version with steam catapults as well, I believe. So well done to him, awesome stuff as always, and he's actually got some um, uh, sort of defences on the ship now, so there's little missiles you can see just down there. I can't remember the name of off the top of my head, but they actually work, and I've, I've tried it. They're actually really good. So well done to him to make, for making the carrier, making it defend itself, and continuing to make that really really good design as you can see it's got some wear and tear on it looks absolutely awesome so back to what we were doing as always i'm just plugging loads of stuff right now okay so we're speed time up a hell of a lot so the c17 can fly to dubai let's let things go really quickly we go we're 100 and jesus 120 times just go to about 40 so he's now coming to dubai He's now going to land. He's going to taxi off. And when he enters the trigger zone around here, you'll see he's entered the trigger zone. Now the A-10 has spawned in. So we'll go into that one. Once again, RAF Air Design, 97 Squadron A-10s for RAF Air UK. Once again, hats off to whoever made it. Great stuff. If we scroll through the F-2 again, you'll see a Harrier taking off from the, the uh, other ship. I can't remember the name of it. Tawawa, whatever it is. And he's also sporting my Harry Squadron's design, so happy days. And finally, you'll see an F-18, which is another RAF Air UK design. And it is our OCU, or 41 Squadron. So these guys pride themselves with real-world RAF tactics. They fly all of their, sh their missions or sorties, whatever you want to call them, with RAF tactics. And this is one of the designs for one of their pilots. So, once again, really cool design. If you like it, you want to be part of RAF Air, join, then you can download them all. And as you saw, all of our aircraft spawned. The c 17s doing its own thing. The A-10's taxiing away in the background. And the F-14's landed. Once again, RAF Air skin, well done. Harry's landed, and everything else is doing its business. So, as you saw there, we had one aircraft starting after 120 seconds of mission start we had a second aircraft starting at a designated time within the mission at 805 
a third aircraft, the C-17 we're looking at now, spawned in after the previous aircraft made it to a certain waypoint. And our final couple of aircraft, which are currently taxiing, taking off, flying, doing their own thing, they all spawned in when the C-17 landed and parked in a specific place. So that's a load of different ways of doing triggers. So we've looked at um, uncontrolled starts. We've looked at time spawns. We've looked at time from mission start. We've looked at late activation. Loads of different ways you can get aircraft spawned in your missions to make things a little bit nicer, feel a little bit more real, or just be a bit more lifelike. So there's more than just yourself flying around. So once again, if you have any sort of videos you want to see, anything you want to be able to know how to do, um, please hit me up in a comment, like, subscribe. You tell me if you want a video, tell me what the video you need, and I will make it for you. As always, stay safe, look to the skies, and I'll see you next time.